This guide has been inspected and approved by Luminous. Hey guys, this is Suns Fan, and welcome to the official Dota Cinema Guide to Axe. If you aren't familiar with this hero, you may want to watch the introduction we did for him at the corresponding link. Axe is a strength initiation hero whose objective is to take as much damage as possible. You could potentially be very effective with him as a laner, but he's most commonly used in the jungle. Skill build. There are two builds to a jungling axe. Build number one is to max out counter helix by seven. Second, you'll max berserker's call. For all builds, you'll get your ultimate culling blade at the standard six, eleven, and sixteen. With this build, battle hunger serves very little purpose because by the time you level it, enemy heroes generally have upgraded boots and a high HP pool. Because of this, we recommend getting one level of battle hunger mainly for the slow and movement speed increase that comes with all levels. Obviously, if you see a lot of opportunity to get kills by leveling it, then go ahead, but for general purposes, one level should be sufficient. Build number two is still for jungle use, but your role will change significantly. For this build, you'll start off with Helix at 1, followed by Battle Hunger at 2 and 3, which you'll proceed to max by 7. Leveling Battle Hunger will allow you to gank at level 3, which you'll find more often than not will net you and your team pretty consistent kills. After level 7, you'll need to gauge whether your team needs Berserker's Call. For a general rule, level it at 8, but then go back to maxing Helix. But again, because you aren't maxing Helix first, your jungling will suffer. Getting experience from ganking is a must, which is why this is a risky build. Item build. For starting items, get a stout shield and a bunch of tangos. Boots for axe are most commonly phase, as allow you to move around a little easier for ganking and initiation purposes. But after saying that, arcane boots and power treads are also pretty decent, depending on your team composition. Axe is pretty mana dependent, so if no one else on your team is getting arcane, you'll be forced to do so. Now, generally speaking, the core item set for Axe would be Phase Boots, Vanguard, and a Blink Dagger. The question is, what order do you purchase these items? Well, since you start with a Stout Shield, your agenda should be to purchase your Ring of Health as fast as possible, so you can jungle without worrying about embarrassing yourself with a death to the neutrals. Regular Boots after this are needed, so you aren't a completely useless ganker, and whether or not you want to finish the Phase Boots right away is player preference. At this point, most players would finish their Vanguard by purchasing a Vitality Booster, but if your team desperately needs some initiation, then by all means go Blink Dagger before doing so. After this core build is complete, every other item pickup is situational. A hood into a pipe could be useful against magical teams, although a lot of times a cloak will be sufficient for your purposes. A Blade Mail is a somewhat common pickup, which if you Berserkers call an enemy and activate the item, you can take pride in saying, Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! in all chat. For luxury items, a Shiva's Guard is really good on Axe as it will solve all his mana issues in addition to giving you a lot more tank ability as well as extra initiation punch. A heart could also be purchased in some cases since the name of the game is taking damage. Gameplay. In the general laning and jungling phase, your role is really dependent on which build you go. If you went with build number one, getting a blink dagger ASAP is your top priority. This doesn't mean you're useless in ganks though. Since you'll be leveling Call, you'll have opportunities to still gank the lane, but the damage from your teammates is still going to be the majority. This build will also allow you to farm enemy creep waves, which will help you push your lane in turn. This can even be done at level 1 with the right support. For build 2, your battle hunger ganks will be much more consistent, but at the same token, you'll be more reliant on them as well. If ganking the lane closest to you doesn't work out, then consider buying a TP or smoke in order to gank the other lanes. I mean, think about it. Would you expect a gank in the early stages of the game from an axe jungling on the other side of the map? That was a rhetorical question, but I'm going to answer it just in case you weren't sure. It's no. Take advantage of the lack of preparation. Ganking with the two builds also differs a bit. When you have Berserker's Call, the basic combo is to call the enemy when they're close to a lot of creeps. Obviously, this isn't always possible, thus making positioning so important when playing axe. With the Hunger build, communication with your team is paramount, since you probably don't have a way to disable them in the very early stages. But hunger is such a powerful skill in the early stages of the game. If you can prevent the enemies from killing a creep, you'll deal a stupid amount of damage over time. Culling Blade, which used to be dreaded as the KSing skill of doom, is still a KSing skill, but a helpful one at that. Don't be afraid to steal a kill because the speed buff given to surrounding allies could potentially be enough to catch up to some fleeing enemies. 
but the one rule with playing axe is to have some balls. Your job is to jump in first and take a lot of damage. Obviously, once you have your blink dagger, this will be much easier to pull off. If you've leveled it, don't be afraid to spam battle hunger, since it can use it to not only finish off fleeing heroes, but also to prevent blink daggers from being used, as well as gain movement speed per unit that's affected. Just make sure you'll have enough mana to use Culling Blade, since it can be a handy way to turn around a team fight. Also note that the only thing that goes through Dazzle's Shallow Grave skill is in fact Culling Blade. In other words, you own him. Friends and foes. Heroes that Axe enjoys playing with are those that can allow him to gank successfully. Sand King's Burrow Strike is a great way to set up Axe's call, while General Slows from Ancient Apparition and Venomancer are also just as effective. A special mention has to go out to Darkseer and Dazzle. Dazzle will help you stay alive in various ways. His heal will be very effective since Axe enjoys hanging around creeps. His shallow grave will keep you alive against literally anything. Unless of course there's an Axe on the other team as well, but that seems unlikely. And of course his poison touch will allow you to catch up to fleeing enemies. Darkseer on the other hand can speed you up with Surge which makes positioning so much easier to pull off. And of course when his ion shell is applied to you, you'll deal that much more damage. Axe can't stand to go up against a variety of heroes. The usual suspects would include the disabled happy intel heroes named Rasta and Lion. But more notably, going against both Ursa and Lifestealer is absolute hell. Both heroes can kite Axe while also dealing a ridiculous amount of damage thanks to their respective passives. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. Be sure to check out our brand new Axe t-shirt which is available now. Just click on the link to take a look for yourself. We're planning to release a new one for each hero guide we release. Also a big thanks to Flawless and Luminous who helped create this guide. You can check them out at their YouTube channels which are linked in the video description. Also be sure to check out our website at dotacinema.com. My name is Sunsfan and we love you guys.